what is up everyone welcome back uh today we're doing 1995 1996 fleer ultra uh, i've been on these 95 96 uh box kicks for a while now but um you know we do a lot of 96 97 as well but uh it's weird because i feel like there's some really high-end inserts in these boxes and uh like 98 will go for more i know there's some different rookies in there but um you know anyways we're gonna continue to do these uh i enjoy the mid 90s for sure uh so we're gonna do uh fleer ultra 95 96 Series 2, uh, so we're looking for Michael Jordan Scoring Kings. Uh, you can get Hot Packs, uh, Scoring King Hot Packs in here as well, uh, which will have a little foil stamp that says Hot Pack on it. I think those are less desirable. I would totally take it, but uh, I think those are less desirable. So if you get a Michael Jordan Scoring King without the Hot Pack, I mean, his preference or the one with the Hot Pack, um, I think that those are, as far as you see, like Gemin 10 and them selling, uh, I think that people would like it without the Hot Pack because I think it's like a little bit more, shows it's a little more rare of a hit. But uh, could be wrong, you know. I, I like the hot pack look. I think that looks pretty nice on there. Still another foil stamp. Um, so let's get into this factory sealed box. Hopefully we can pull some Scoring King uh, Jordan out of here. I actually kind of want a Scoring King hot pack just to to go through it, which would be fun. Because you can also get Shaq and a couple other players. I mean, all the players. So um, we'll see. But also a Kevin Garnett rookie card. All rookie Kevin Garnett can sell for a little bit. Um, and... Uh, so we'll see what else we can get out of here. Hopefully these aren't bricked. If they are, you know, we'll do our stack to stack move. If they uh, are not bricked though, then we'll we'll go straight through. So that's our pack right there. Fleer Ultra, 12 NBA basketball cards per pack. And right here on the back says, uh, look for scoring king cards uh, only in hobby packs, which uh, these are. It says hobby pack right there. So that's great. Um, stack house of scrapbook, all 10 rookies. So the odds are, Scoring Kings, one in every 24 packs. Uh, let's see, Stackhouse Scrapbook, one in 24. We're not really interested in those. It is just Jerry Stackhouse. Uh, in other series, they have other people in the scrap uh, Scrapbook, but in this series, just uh, Jerry Stackhouse. So, um, All rookies, one in 30. USA Basketball, one in 54. And the odds of a hot pack are one in every 72 packs, so basically one in every three boxes. So uh, hopefully we can... Uh, I would love to get one just to experience it, but... Looking for uh, Scoring Kings, Michael Jordan. So some of the other Scoring Kings, Michael Jordans can go for a lot and uh, we want some. So yeah, right away you can tell <laughs> these are a little stuck. So we'll go through this first stack together like we always do. Uh, slow, androgynous, and then what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll go stack to stack on our cuts here. So that way, uh, I used to go through the entire break that way, but it um, just takes up too much time. It's not as fun and I can't, I can't tend to the cards as much as I'd like. So right there, it's kind of hard to see, but that did leave a little residual uh, fallout. But the Zoe looks pretty good. So this Lonzo Morning, I'd like the foil, the foil stamp. I think it looks great. So let's just go ahead and get through this first stack. So this will be the longest stack. And we'll fly through those other ones. So there's uh, Byron Scott and uh, who is this? I can't, can't see that name. It's a little too... Sheeny. So here's one of our Lou Rowe uh, rookies. You know, this one's sticking pretty bad. So I might actually just do the whole, do our method. Oh yeah, look at that was folded up. Came like that. So that's the risk too, right? You know, sometimes you get cards and they are uh, auto damaged. But after we get through this pack, we'll uh, do our slide to uh, our first, to uh, this first, to get to this first stack. Because this is going to, otherwise it'll just take an hour. <laughs> we don't need to do that, so. Yeah, we got Carl back here. I want Carl good. So, yeah, you can see for sure all over his jersey the fallout. So, oh, and there's a Kevin KG rookie. So, I really want this rookie. Can go for a little bit. So, we're going to have to uh, take our time with this one. So, the, I like to find where the give is. I like to get as many cards off as I can. And then what I like to do is I like to go, because you'll see, like, I pulled that and that Matumbo has, like, the edge issues. So what I like to do personally is I like to uh, try to find the give spot. Then if oh, that's probably sound good, but I like to go around the edges first because I don't want the edge of the pack, the thinnest part, to be pulling. It's always the top middle that has the issue. So yeah, so front looks great, but even with all that, still the fallout. So this box is going to be pretty brutal. I'm pretty sad about that because you know basketball at this time is up. So. You basically like you can never get it graded because it won't come back well so your best bet to sell it raw and raw it's not gonna be worth much still cool to have though 
you know, I do have a personal collection I care about, but I also, I see, it's like you have, when you have a car that has a scratch, I only see all the flaws. <laughs> so that's our first pack. So this is going to take some tending too. So, uh, man, this, this one card is like shorter, way, way shorter. Uh, like, so I'll line that up, right? And then that's one card. Let's see if I can bring it down a little. And then here's a, another card. Lines up with the other one, but not that one. So this card got cut. I mean, real, real bad. Someone messed up at work. I was like, oh, quick. we got to get this. Anyways, uh, but that was our first pack. So let's get into our uh, the rest of these packs here and see. Uh, hopefully we can pull... Uh, Man, really, really hopefully we can pull some Rainmen. Oh, I'm sorry, some Score Kings that aren't uh, bricked. All right. So, yeah, these are uh, these are not coming apart well, <laughs> I'll tell you that. So, pretty bummed out. I don't bet, you know, sometimes you have great luck. Um, sometimes you have bad luck. And this week, I feel like I've had some, uh, some tough ones. So, we've uh, bought some pretty cool boxes and... Uh, they're not bricked we are not hitting our cards but that's uh that's the fun of i guess that's the gamble so got a bunch of rookies you can see like they are like stuck so i mean I, i'm if you watch the channel you know i'm pretty good about tending to them but there's just nothing i can do here there's nothing i can do let's see there's a uh, rasheed wallace i mean did about as best i could there but you can see his jersey got tore up there a little bit um and then there's jason caffey gary trent it was like a rookie's hot pack and then uh there's a tim hardaway encore not a big fan of these encore ones like i i, I normally like the contrast but seeing a lot of these lately i'm uh really not into them but i mean i have a bunch i just have so many i guess they, they, they look cool i just i've broken a lot of this lately so i'm just kind of like i prefer to get more with this gold stamp uh, but yeah, there's a Tyrone Corbin and Dana Barros for our first pack there. Uh, second pack, first stack. And then uh, here we got John Stockton Encore. So that's cool. Christian Lehner. I mean, look at that. Look at that, George Lynch. Uh, I took my time. <laughs> I took a lot of time to get him looking this poorly. There's uh, Terry Porter, Vin Baker, and uh, Luke Longley. And Clyde Drexler, let's see. This is Glenn Robinson right there, Encore. So it's the back of the Encore cards. Look pretty good other than the uh, the Fallout. Uh, there's Akeem Olajuwon, who uh, looks like he got a little chewed up there. I can't help it. I'll stop pointing him out. Um, there's Alvin Robinson and then Otis Thorpe. So I break a lot of boxes, I think uh, a decent amount. And I bought them where uh, even this box, and look, it is, it is a part of the gloss. You know, it's common, but... How the box was kept in condition plays a factor. So if somebody's charging you like market price, that box should be the looser of the boxes. But if they're charging you market price and giving you a brick box, trust me, they know how they've kept them or where they, for the most part, unless they just bottom resell them, it happens. But for the most part, people know it's Travis Best rookie, Damon Stoudemire rookie, and uh, Eric Williams rookie. Uh, Brent Berry, how it was uh, kept. And you'll see there's a nice key. This one came off great, so I'm happy about that. The, a lot of times people who know, like, hey, you know, this was uh, not in a stable, like, uh, temperature condition place or this and that, they'll put it there, knock, like, a couple bucks off, and they're like, you know, this is your own risk. Uh, and then I found if you pay this, Tony McDice, I like this one, other than the back. If you pay market price, and then this David Robinson, so uh, this David Robinson's also shorter. So this, this, not only is it sticky, but, like, we're getting these really mini cards. It's uh, really strange. It's Eddie Jones, um, Juwan Howard, Jerry Stackhouse, uh, rookie. But, uh, you know, they're not a couple bucks off. But if they're selling it for you market rate, then, you know, I, I, I've had it where I've bought them at market price and they're usually the better of the boxes I see opened. And that's why I do that. So for this to be this bad is uh, pretty disheartening. But, uh, you know, that's the last of that. Let's go ahead and look at these basketball cards, see what we have the rest of these. All right. So let's get into our second stack here. Hopefully we can uh, turn our luck around a bit. Um, let's see, there is a bonus. Okay, here's one of the uh, inserts of uh, Scrap House's stack book. Um, so in the 96, 97, there actually is uh, like other players, uh, Jordan, things like that, 
in 95, I believe there's only Jerry Stackhouse. Uh, and I was a huge Jerry Stackhouse fan for sure. 100% was collecting at the time, Sean Bradley, but he didn't really turn into like the Kobe Bryant, LeBron level that they thought he was going to. So uh, his cards, you know, they've cooled. It's kind of like you have to have like a nostalgia for them. And even then, since they, you know, somebody who gets into basketball might be like, oh, I'll learn about MJ and then want his cards. So there's, you know, the prices stay up. But that's probably not happening for Jerry Stackhouse as much. Mookie. So, you know, happy to get it, but uh, not exactly what we're looking for. All right. Um, so the second stack was uh, not as bad as the first, but it still wasn't great. So we're, we're trending in the right direction. Uh, there's Jamal Mashburn right there. Lloyd Vaughn. There's uh, Gary Payton Encore. Charles Barkley Encore. So like I said, I like the, the backs have really good contrast. The fronts are, I get what they were going for, but I don't know. Um, there's Daphne Shrimp. There's another Gary Payton. So I prefer this card, and it just feels like there's 50-50 the Encores. So there's Rick Smith's. Uh, Damon Stoudemire. So his is a nice card right here. Um, like I said, he was a big prospect at this time. And Stacey Ogman uh, rounds out that pack. I'm going to be happy to get into that junk wax after this. <laughs> so there's uh, Glenn Robinson, Dennis Rodman, uh, Kurt Thomas, Michael Finley rookie card. I also really like the way they did rookie here. Uh, Derek Coleman. Uh, and then there's uh, Bob Sura, Chris Weber, and Kendall Gill. I like the way they did rookie uh, this year in particular. So, you know. Getting that Gary Payton's great, but would really prefer to get... And in the Series 1, I got a bunch of them, and they were in great shape, so I'm happy about that. But if it was in perfect shape, I'd be feeling pretty good right now. Uh, there's uh, Bryant Reeves, Jason Kidd, Encore right there. Uh, let's see, Glenn Rice. Charlie Ward, Will Perdue. Uh, here's Sean Respert. So this, I don't know what it is about the green and the contrast of this one, but this is uh, for sure like my... I don't know what it looks amazing to me. And uh, there's Bryant Reeves and then Greg Anthony to finish out that pack. And uh, let's see here. Cherokee Parks. There's uh, Tyrone Hill. Jim Jackson. Another Dennis Rodman. Coy Alexander. Rookie card. Sean Kemp. Dennis Rodman, base. And then Chris Morris, base card to uh, finish out that pack. And then our last uh, pack for the second stack is uh, Cheryl Ford. There's uh, Latrell Sprewell, Sam Perkins, Rodney Rogers. Uh, Scotty Pippen, Encore. So I haven't gotten this one yet. And this one came off, uh, I think, pretty well. So normally I just take them apart and go through them uh, as e Ewing. Uh, with every, like, uh, this, like, as, like, a first experience. Because even when you take them apart, it's, you know, you can see them for the first time. But these are so stuck that it's like I, I'm, I'm pretty much staring at each card for a while. But. Let's get into our third stack. Hopefully we can get a Rayman hot pack and uh, hopefully they, we can pull them apart well. That would be that'd be a pretty awesome uh, hit, I think. Uh, sorry, I meant uh, Scoring Kings. Scoring Kings uh, hot pack. Thank you, think Rayman. I just busted open that 1995-1996 uh, Tops uh, Stadium Club. And uh, yeah, so anyways, um, got to take longer breaks between the rips. But uh, let's see who we have. We have uh, Jamal Mashburn. So like this one... I was, man, I'm cursing myself every time. I was going to say, it looks like it's feeling looser, but maybe just slightly. There's Grant Hill, uh, Encore card. So that's nice. Let's see if we can't get BJ Armstrong off here. So that's cool. I mean, these are good, like, uh, personal collection uh, cards. But eesh. let's see. There's Gary Trent, Jason Caffey, Hakeem. And uh, Jamal Mashburn. So let's see if we can't help this Akeem Olajuwon. No, getting them all, getting them all a little tore up in the same spot. But that was our first, uh, first pack for the uh, third stack. So we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, let's see. This is uh, Randolph Ch uh, Childress right there. There's a uh, Carl Malone Encore. Travis Best, Brian Williams, Vernon Maxwell. Sean Bradley, Ricky Pierce, Byron Scott. There's Oliver Miller and then uh, Eddie Johnson. Finishes out that pack. 
Then uh, Damon Stoudemire rookie card. So we're getting some pretty good rooks. I mean, for for the year, there's John Stockton, Allen Henderson. There's a uh, Nick Van Exel. Let's see checklist. Luke Longley getting a lot of Luke. I think that was our first Nick Van Exel though. And then um, there's Dino. It's Clyde the Glide Drexler, Glenn Robinson. There's uh, Eddie Jones, Christian Leitner, Richard Dumas, Defla Shrimp. There's that uh, Antonio McDice with a really good contrast. Brent Barry, Vin Baker, Tony Dumas, and oh, sorry about that, a uh, little fella there. Uh, there's uh, Eric Williams, there's uh, Alonzo Mourning, Mutumbo, Stockton, and uh, let's see, Lou Rowe, Sabonis, Hakeem. This Hakeem he keeps coming off great, so I don't know what the deal is. I mean, I'm happy with that. He's one of my favorite players, so... Right now, it's like beggars can't be choosers. I'm like, oh, this one card has no nothing on it. <laughs> and the last uh, pack for the third stack. And we're still getting a lot of... Uh, I don't know if you can see it there. So they're, they're kind of level at the bottom. Uh, a lot of them are cut off. So I think that's pretty common. Uh, I've not broken this box in a long, long time. There's Sean Elliott, Rashid Wallace rookie. So that's cool. Uh, Gary Payton, David Robinson. I can, and this is the short one, and it, I cannot get this card in good shape. It's killing me. Um, Jerry Stackhouse, Robert Ori, Mookie, Carlos Rogers, and then Chris King to uh, back it up. You can see there's a lot of variations on cards, which is cool. But the set list, I mean, there's some good Hall of Famers, but it's not like spectacular. So you're basically chasing inserts. So I don't know. Let's get into our last stack of. Uh, 1985-96 Clear Ultra. Looking for Scoring Kings. We'll see. Um, all right. Let's get our last stack here. And there's uh, Elmore Spencer. Bryant Reeves stuck to him. There's uh, Sean Respert. Dennis Rodman. So that one's coming off good. A couple of rookies. Donnell Marshall. Yeah, it gets like these little rookie hot packs almost. And then uh, there's David Vaughn, another KG. Can we save a card that we want? Almost. Almost. Oh, nope. Still, same spot. So that's our second KG, which is cool. Uh, Latrell Sprewell. Sam Perkins. There's Rodney Rogers, Charlie Ward for that first pack. All right, let's get into our second pack. There's uh, Brian Reeves, Loy Vaught, Cherokee Parks rookie, Greg Oystertag rookie. There's Vladi Encore, the Derek Coleman, John Williams, Greg Anthony, Bennett Benjamin, Eric Murdoch, and uh, Kendall Gill. So, yeah, that whole pack. I mean, some good players, but, you know, we're we're – Running low on uh, big, big names in this uh, series. Bob Sura. There's Clyde the Glide Drexler. Uh, John Sally. Kenny Anderson. Checklist. Kurt Thomas. Nice contrast. Marco, Michael Finley. Jason Kidd encore. Jamal Mashburn encore. Chris Weber encore. Lauren Meyer encore. And then uh, to finish out that pack. Next pack. is uh, There's uh, Cheryl Ford. Uh, Mario Bennett. There's Kevin Edwards, Glenn Rice, uh, Scotty Pippen again, Robert Ori, and then Rick Smith. Uh, nice Stoudemire uh, card there. Uh, Jim Jackson, Dennis Rodman, Charles Barkley, Corey Alexander, Gary Payton, Defla Shrimp. That's a good pack. And uh, Stacey Ogman, and then Bam. We did pull a. Um, Damon Stoudemire, all rookie. So I wanted a KG like this. It's a green, but still a cool looking card. And a silver lining. Um, th so there's whitening on the corner, but that was kind of there. Uh, this card just kind of fell out of the pack. So the gloss on this card, uh, the cards are thicker, which does, I think, make a difference in like this whitening uh, as well. But uh, this card came off like pretty much on its own. So that's a good sign for the future. Uh, if we get one of these at an amazing deal, then I'll go back in. But um, that's, a, that's a good sign because I didn't really have to peel this off. It just kind of came off. You can see it's a pretty cool font, cool looking card. So we haven't given ourselves any 
I need love up here. So we'll do that going into our uh, last pack and then we'll uh, do our recap. Uh, Mookie Blaylock and then boom, Scoring Kings. So this is what we wanted to see. Uh, we got us uh, Scoring Kings. It is a Keem, which I like. Uh, we wanted Jordan like this. Um, and the same thing. So there's like whitening on the far corners. But this card as well, uh, silver lining for this box, uh, came off like on its own. So uh, the, the card on the front, like the pack fell in half. And then, uh, so this was fine. And then coming off the backside here, it pretty much came off immediately. So uh, I just think it has a lot to do with the thickening of the card. Uh, I'm sure if we expect every single one, it has that because these, uh, these are contrast on the back of these two in particular, uh, purple. So uh, that's a nice uh, scoring Kings. Uh, did not get a hot pack. So if I can get one of these at a, a good, a great price, I'll go back in. But for the stickiness, the thickness of the cards, the whitening that happens with the thickness of the cards, I'm... Um, uh, I think it's a tall order. I think I'd rather get, put, put my investment in a couple other boxes where I know that the better chance of not not breaking. Uh, Jason Williams, Sean Kemp to finish out that stack. Um, Patrick Ewing, and there's Dan the Man. So uh, that is our break for 1995-96 uh, Fleer Ultra. I mean, we did get a bunch of rookies. We got uh, two of these uh, uh, Kevin Garnett's. Both of the fronts are perfect, but right on his neck on both of them are uh, not perfect so they can sell for a little bit if they're in gem mint but those are definitely not in gem mint most of these cards are not these are like personal pc collection cards so uh thanks for being here uh we're gonna bring you more basketball as you can see behind uh behind me right here and uh we'll see you on the next break Bye bye <laughs>